Well, it's been a pretty exciting week and a half. I, you know, I finished this, I should show you. I finished this here about a week and a half ago, and that was my last video. And then with that complete, I could really pile into the uh, display, the case that it's going to go in. Um, so this is the original. This is where I am with the new one. Uh, you know, the top and the bottom, I haven't really done anything with them. Just kind of cut them to rough dimension. They're pretty close, but I have to, you know, get them to their actual size. But this whole video, and, and uh, it's not going to be boring because there's a lot of cool stuff that I'm doing, uh, is this. This is pretty much what I've been doing for the last week and a half. And the reason is, there's just an awful lot of joinery because the first thing I did was I made three rectangular frames, you know, the front and then two sides. And then once those rectangular frames were built, I cut a 45 and then, you know, put them together. Um, and then I put a spline in there for some mechanical strength. Um, and then, and that's it. And, and that's what this is. But just getting to that point and, and, the, and the hand joining stuff like that is pretty fascinating. I want to show it to you because I want to be very comprehensive with this build. I literally want you to be able to build this if you have the wherewithal, a shop and things like that, or, or maybe almost a shop. But I want to show you how to build it. And so um, I'm taking my time. I'm showing you as much as I, I possibly can. And I certainly want to hear back if maybe there's a point where I've done something and you're like, well, what was that? Well, tell me about it and I'll, I'll certainly explain it further. So anyway, this week we are going to start with raw lumber from the wood store uh, that I got over a month ago and um, we'll build this. So uh, let's start with some planing and jointing.
by golly, we have a frame. What's wrong? Sweetie, it's it's like 33 out there. You're not going outside. Okay. Let's see how I did. Um, there's definitely some cleanup. But they look okay. Are they square? That's probably not, but... Wow, that's really close. Awesome.
Well, that's it for this week. Next week, I am going to be preparing for a model show. So, I live near Seattle, and annually there is a model show at the Museum of Flight. So, I'm really excited about that, and, and what I need to do is, is do a lot of prep. Uh, so, I'm going to be uh, preparing this and, and, and all my other dioramas to go down to Seattle. And, and I thought it'd be really fun to, to film it because what I have to do is, is make placards and you know, dust and just kind of clean glass and you know make sure everything's all, all nice and, and ready. And I thought it would be fun. I've learned a lot uh, doing a couple of these over the years. And um, if you haven't done one, uh, it, maybe that's intimidating. I don't know. Uh, it was for me. And so I, I think that'd be a fun video. So that's what we'll do next week. Uh, I'm also doing my shorts now on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And in my longer format videos like this, I'm just I'm trying to take a little bit longer so that there's more information in it. Because like I'm doing here is I'm showing you everything to build this. I'm not leaving anything out so that if you want to build one or if you're interested in the, the complete process, then it'll be in here. And, and I'm putting chapters in so you can skip ahead if you don't like that too. But anyway, I hope you like it. Um, please subscribe if you do and um, come back and take a look at the next video. Thanks very much.